as we continue to monitor Hurricane Ian that is now down, making its way across Cuba as a Category 3 storm. And Matthew joining us now, talking to some local folks who are keeping an eye on the storm as well and pitching a hand to help them out. Yeah, that's right. I actually spoke with one of the Red Cross volunteers that are down there who is actually one of five Indiana Hoosiers down there now helping to make sure shelters are in place on the eastern part of Florida, more so in the Orlando area. Now I spoke with Michael Zukov. He is the Hoosier native who's been volunteering with the Red Cross for 33 years now. And he says they have around 318 Red Cross staff members down in Florida. Most of them are in the Orlando area, which he says will be an evacuation area for residents who live on that western part of the state in the Tampa area. Now as the Red Cross waits for the eye of the hurricane to make way over Florida, they're continuing, continuing to bring in emergency units as well as trailers with high end shelters. Most of these, he tells me, will help serve families who might be struggling. People who are on the barrier islands around the uh, Sarasota Bradenton area are leaving there and, uh, you know, they're finding hotel rooms themselves uh, inland, but uh, there are many people who don't have the financial resources to do that. So they will go to the evacuation shelters and that's the uh, population that will be serving there. Now we've also learned this morning that Tampa's airport will be suspending all operations in less than 12 hours. So keep that in mind if you have any loved ones or friends who might be traveling. In the meantime, you can still help here from Indiana. The Red Cross says they're taking donations for relief effort efforts down in Florida. You can donate at redcross.org.